Uh, hot gun. We're all clear. Obliterated. How many uh, are gone right now? Beaks might be the only one down yet, but there's a, a zillion Xenos. I pray that none of you die. I'm on my way back. Oh, the Ludlow's already at low, uh, lowered health. We might have a chance. Yeah, if we can artillery it. If we can get stable and just like pelt it with long range rhino weapons and just keep the fires I'm off the rhinos. I'm currently getting in position for that. Probably even if you rhinos just like sit still because you can't dodge fire anyway and then we'll try to clear the, esc uh, clear the enemy fires off you when they spawn. I actually don't have any long range stuff. I just have the large laser, but uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can cover galleys. My... Yeah, I've got the NA. The oh, I can see a bit of a nasty group coming to me. What? I've got a group this just coming for me. That's a four-man group. No, five-man group. I'm, I'm gonna have to bolt. Wait. I think they're peeling off me? Question mark. Yeah, Q is. Uh, like I'm in range to shoot the Ludlow, but I have no cover, so I'm not comfortable stopping. Sir, what did you say, bro? Find us. For some reason, my. Weapon Group 6 is firing a flashpoint instead of the LRM that I set for it. Uh, did you actually press 6, select so like Weapon Group 6, and like, click it on so it's not, so it, it's, like, not highlighting the flashpoint? It flash should point? be green. Yeah. Yes, you, I did. Hmm. Uh, unless you have to unbind other stuff, that doesn't sound He right. might have selected, a uh, Weapon 6 instead of Weapon Group 6. That's possible. Is Take weapon is weapon six for you a flashpoint, bro? Oh, fire weapon six. Yeah, so you've got a you've got to rebind those ones I I said to you that are activate weapon group six. I think. Yeah, fire weapon group six. There you go. Yeah. Here, um, let's back yeah, yeah, off yeah. from the field so we can repair Brett with the Rhino repair guns, and he might need some too. All right, all right, let me go try and see if I can link up with you guys too. Yeah, we need your cover. It's hot around here. Oh, I don't have any missiles. <laughs> That's okay. Even just PD turrets helps out. Uh, so remember guys, if you want repairs, just uh, type slash shields and park in front of Super and Super will repair you. Hold on one sec, I see ya, I'm coming in. Just be careful, because it will drop your shields. If we get into combat, you'll be very, very vulnerable. Uh, and you want to park in front of the Rhino, don't nudge it and die, but park in front because the repair guns have a really short range. Hold on one sec, let me come over here and give you a little help. Oop. Are you guys moving? We're sitting still. Here, I'm Brit. just trying to get lined up here. One sec. Yeah, Britt, come and... Get a little bit closer, slowly to the nose here of Supra, so New Supra can repair you. Ow, I'm fine. I don't need it. Yeah, that's that's you. Sorry. No, you're good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Stuff. I love, I love the absolutely ridiculous noise that these make. So do I. Meow. It's like a placeholder noise, but I was like, no keeper. I love that noise for some reason. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, you're back at full. And then Hemo needs some over Yay. here. Oh, we got some ships. Oh, they're just. There we go. And that eagle's a big fucker. 
Okay, cool. All right. Well, I think we'll get overwhelmed very easily if we're not careful, so... I'm just gonna try and play around the rhinos, and we probably... I have... Uh, put your shields back on, uh, meatball. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Of a position. Okay. Which is? I'm gonna come in underneath it. Okay. I give me the biggest target I can shoot at. <laughs> yeah, also true. All right. Well, I'm gonna follow you boats. Um. Out of Super or Gallius, which two of you want to be like the one we follow, and then the other Rhino can follow you. Uh, I'll I'm leave. Following. Yeah, okay. I'm formed on Gallius right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll we'll anchor around Gallius. If anyone gets in trouble, just try to get the fly around the rhino so they can get the PD off you. You'll have to. Do you want me to yeah. break away and do bombing runs? Uh, if you feel brave enough, uh... we may want to. We, we may get overwhelmed just defending the rhinos. It'd be up to you. You got the bombs. You could always just duck in, bomb, and come back. Yeah, just make a quick bomb run. You got UGBs or rocket pods? Uh, UGB. Oh, you'll just need one pass. Oh, we've got people within two kilometers of us. Yeah, me and Super are catching up. Let's clear these guys out. If they get onto us. Two. Some of us got stuck back here. Um, we got broken up. Yeah, parking. Yeah, let's try to stay together or we're going to get overwhelmed. <laughs> oh fuck. I'm gonna hit that. A meatball. I think we're just in range, actually. Fuck off, light fighters! Are, are we forming on Gallius? What's the plan? Yeah, but we got we got intercepted back here. Okay, I'll head back to you. Oh, Gallius just left us. Or I or my fight took me far away. Yeah, it's easy to get split up. We're engaged now, so we'll just have to fight this fight and hope Gallius can get back to us. I'll try to clear your tail. Oh, we're in fucking danger. danger. Oh. Ah, Brett's down. <laughs> Flat back, Brett. We'll try to meet back up with you. Copy that. Yeah, it happened in like a second. I think I think one of us bounced off a rock and then we got split up because the others kept going. It's hard sometimes. That shit happens. Yeah, I got scraped off an asteroid. Yeah, generally if you're like flying in formation, it's really easy to like actually lose formation ironically because of that. Shout out, guys, if you're in trouble. I'll do what I can. Oh, hell. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, mortal, try to turn back towards the transports if you need cover. I'm going to get them off your tail if I can. Okay, I got one off your tail. I'm engaged with this one. That's an eagle, isn't it? Yeah, that thing's a tough bitch. I tried to kill it. I can just tell that's an eagle. Let's turn behind it. Again. Get on this thing's tail and blow it the fuck up. I'm gonna fire my pylons on this thing. Oh, they're LRMs. They got kind of measured anyway. Whoa. Don't worry, the AC-20 will blow the shit out of this thing. As long as I stay close like this. Yeah, I love that gun. Got mine. Mine got away with 10 HP. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Alright, let's group back up on the Supra. He might need some heals again. Alright, should we let that guy go? You okay, Gallius? You're in your own still. Uh, just I got pushed back. 
Yep, yep. I just got a bet on me. Okay. You need help or can you be back over us? Uh, he's not doing enough damage to take me out, but... Okay. Shields. And he's given up on me. Yeah, yeah I'll cover you while you get mid-air refueled. Hey, Paul, can you drop shields? There we go. Where are you guys? Oh. Why is I... This? I'm actually gonna let... Brita... Uh, Britar? How do you Britarnia. want me to Britarnia. You can uh, say Brit. Let... Oh, Brit, yeah. Oh, the fucking vet's back on me. <laughs> I'm gonna meet up with you, and then you can... I'm on the way. You'll need to get closer, Is your think. health actually going up? No, you need to get closer. Oh, no, it's... The range is shorter than it looks. You have to get, like, right in front of the thing. That might work. You may still be too Why? far. Uh... It's got, like, a 75 meter range. You gotta do, like, docking bays with each other. Oh, are they? They're on the top. I don't think they can traverse down far enough. Yeah, that's actually what it looks like. Yeah, now you're hitting them. What's there we go. Cripes. All right. There you go. That um, looks good. Uh, <laughs> it's because you got the fucked up keys, right? Super is what's hard for you to fly in non turret mode. Well, a little. Uh, am I moving? No, you're moving. Uh, I think you are anyway. We're drifting apart. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. No, I said you did it. Nice, now you got it. Oh. That's what I said. Sorry, but, but you, were, you were someone else. All right. Yeah. Where, where is my position? Thank I'm you very sorry. much. You're welcome. Uh, where is it? There it is. So you guys below the whole thing, or...? Yeah, we are currently um, below on our map marker. We're, if you see our ping, we're just below that. I got it. We'll wait for you. Oh. I, I got him on scan. On if you come to me. Yep. All right. Where are we going? We're going full speed. Um, we're waiting here for them to come back and join us. Hmm. Okay. I, I had to pull the big gun out. <laughs> Keep it safe. No way! When my shields got knocked down, my unguided bomb got knocked off. Ooh! Wow, oh, how unlucky! No. <laughs> That's super unlucky. Wow. Well, no bombing Ooh. runs for me, boys. Yeah. I. Uh... All right. All right. Ah, oh, I see you guys. You should see my chemtrail in the distance. Chemtrail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep calling it that. All right. Let's uh, follow you in, and, and this time if any of us um, breaks formation, just call it out real loud so we know to like immediately hit the brakes and stay together. Alright. We should also be underneath the whole asteroid field now. I think we have to go up through it, though. But yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through it a little bit. I'm gonna fly trail, man. I'll go at the back. Alright. I'll let you know Charging if seems to get left behind. Look at all these people showing off they can charge up faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should... uh, I think now is the time we have to pull up. Just well, I only need to... I might as well not be in it, and then I can... I don't have to... Eagle, don't you're have falling to... behind? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. I just have to, I just have to traverse the last five kilometers on impulse. That's probably yeah. better for staying together anyway. Yeah. There she blows. Target. Four hundred eighty-five. Someone's gonna. Someone might need to fly a little ahead of me just to make, tell me if I'm shooting a rock because <laughs> they're not loaded for me. Fighters and. I think I'm good. Yeah, right, if I'm engaging. Oh, we're in Central Alamosa here. That's scary. Okay, yeah, engage the fighters. 
Uh, Brit, try to be mindful to not drift too far from the boats. It'll happen really easily before you realize it. Copy that. Oh, I did hit it. It just took a little, a hot minute. Okay, nice. So basically, we just gotta keep you alive in this position while you artillery it down. Yeah. She's that motherfucker. We got more contacts coming in. Remember everyone, call if you're in trouble so we can get help for you. We don't know you're in trouble unless you call it. One down. Uh, I should have enough ammunition to kill it, I think. <laughs> Someone's gonna like not... a career for you. Uh, I'm gonna suggest one of the fighters go in to pick up the loot, because they can countermeasure out. Yeah, I can do that. Or we can steam in. If we, if, as long as we can manage the spawns, we can just steam in as a group, potentially. Uh, oh, we're getting There's past. like four on us Shields right down. now. Who I'm needs having help? To move. Call your name. Gallius. The boats. The okay. boats have been hit. Shields are down. <laughs> try to get to the boats. I'm gonna try and hide it. Dodge right around to, in the rocks. Try not to run away from our fight. Yeah, try to just sit still, honestly. Like, you can't escape the fighters anyway. You just sit still, and then we can cover you. You won't get away from them running. Uh, I'm just moving to get an ash. I'm in trouble. Okay, Brett, I'll try to I'm... save you. Ugh. Bumping into rocks isn't helping me at all, either. Oh, Brett's super overwhelmed. No! <laughs> Sorry, Brett. By the time I get it's there, right. exploding. This is the elite field, Brett. It's a tough field, I'm sorry. I'm in trouble no too. No sorry, that's what happens. I'm gonna fly past the boats, I need some help. Where are uh, you? Not missiled, I didn't make that. Big. Whew, that picks up quick. That's central for you. Loaded into cargo hold. Loaded into cargo hold. Loaded into cargo hold. Alright, let's try and get back. Is it one of the base parks from XCOM? Which one? Up right, he's below me. I can't hit him. You good, Meatball? Yes, sir. Come on to the Hologlobe. Oh, I, do you have XCOM alt tabbed open? I think this is actually <laughs> the last that. one on us. We got a group on the way back. Uh, we got a group coming back. I'm gonna focus back my fire on the Ludlow. Yep, we're gonna duck low into the field and come meet you. <laughs> kind of amazed that even some of us survived that. Yeah, it's pretty tough spawns. I also noticed that if a rock gets in front of me, and I shoot, I'll accidentally just target the rock with a <laughs> naval cannon. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yes. even blow up. Oh, there's a rock in front of me. If you guys want to draw <coughs> Lord those fighters target. back this way. Oh, that's a su supply base as well. Okay. Eyes on... Model. Yeah. We've also got ships. Yeah, lots it's of below 100,000. A few more shots and then it's gone. Nice. Good damage. Alright, let's try to clear these fighters. Oh, oh, when I get hit, I get shaked enough that I can actually miss. Get my shield's down. You got independence on you? You have to switch to the close targets, I think. I'm evading. 
Thank you, Rhinos. Whoop. Whoop, I might be going down here. Got a bunch on me. Got yeah, I'm gonna lose any beaks. Oh. Whew, huh? I don't know if we've got the numbers. It's Bridge shields are down, I'm coming back to the boats. Yeah, I'm just evading. I'm just trying to get them to fall back. Got one. And that one's given up. Oh, uh, I think that's it, really. Nice, we cleared them out. Where's the Ludlow? Alright, Ludlow's got 50... uh, 55,000 health. I think we have another wing maybe coming in on us. Maybe. Eyes on the Ludlow. Okay, they're not coming in. Super, I'm going to do a, a resupply repair on you if I can. Yep, come on over. I am low oh, wow. on repair juice. But I'll see what okay. we can do. Shields are down, if you can get me. Alright. Britain, you ready to run in and just press B? B? It's B to tractor beam. I have one oh, last yeah. shot. And it's a hit. Running in. Yeah, it'll have done it. Thank you, Super. There you go. Well, I, I actually ways to do that. But... Not dead. Go ahead. Oh, you got it? Then run. It, no, it's not dead. It's not? It has zero HP on mine. I'm not getting any loot. I'll check. I'll go check. The loot may not spawn if we're not close enough or something like that. I don't think the pirates would pick Build it up. It down, I mean, oh yeah, the, the NPCs might have picked it up. Mm, Alright. Yeah, I think the NPCs picked it up. Because they... Uh, Alright, well, now we know. <laughs> That's fine. It's, it's a learning experience, you know? <laughs> it's a learning experience? Yeah, I think a random Xenos picked up all the money. But you know what? It was a good learning experience. I mean, I had a lot of fun actually doing it. My shield is down. That was amazing. I'm cargo scanning all of them, but I don't see any money. I think we might have lost it. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, that was a fun firefight anyway. Yeah, it was a good job. We had to respawn a few times. I was surprised we were able to last there long enough. Ugh. Oh shit, I fucking independence. <laughs> God, those fuckers. Can we have one of those, by the way? I tried to fight one a while back and it didn't go well for me. Um, no, that, that actually goes back to what you were asking before, or someone was asking before about the rhinos. Um, no, the rhino's gonna keep his energy turret because it's Liberty Line and their thing is energy turrets, uh, energy hardpoints. Oh, okay. If you get a. Uh, I just spent, can I have an independence to fly? Unfortunately, no. Um, probably not going to make that one player flyable. So who would be know. kinetic then? Uh, kinetic would be... Would it be Runland? Civilian or... Um, civilian or pirate. We'll see. We'll see where we go. Bretonia actually. Bretonia has tons of kinetic is what I want to do with them. I don't know what a Bretonian freighter looks like even. Uh, it's kind of small. We'd have to get a custom ship in for them. Ah, okay. Best I can do for you for short term is the the Britannia freighter. Yeah. Best I can do for you short term is probably like add like uh, like buff the alerts and stuff a bit. Talk for me, boys. You guys have a wonderful right. evening. Thank you, Hemo. Take it easy. Right. Kowalski says it's sad that you uh, uh, should probably hop off and answer. go to bed too. I guess once I dock somewhere. Yeah, I might soon All as right. well. Yeah, I agree with you, Saga. That's oh, why I'm, that's why I'm modding this game. I, I agree. discovered that makes the, uh, at least the Rhino somewhat useful, mm -hmm. is you can repair people and it'll be a much cheaper price than yes. to go to a station. Yes, that's intended. I'm glad you discovered that. Also, I just found out how to leave group. 
in the place where you accept invites, there's a leave group button. Oh, there it fucking is. Of course it is. Good call. <laughs> hey, Supra, could you heal me so I don't have a big repair bill? Uh, yeah. Let's we stop some I'll pressure. pay you the repair charges needed to repair me. Eh, don't sweat it. All right. I also burn. Uh, I have like six shells left of my NAC. Part of the game. I might um I might lower the AI's accuracy a little bit. I think I think um now that the weight on the ships is heavier since I got back into this a month ago, I think they're probably a little too accurate, and it feels like Ooh. you can't really like survive for very long once they get on you. So I might bring their accuracy oh, down a little bit. You're also hurt. Hold on, and get close to me, Supra. I get close to you, and you repair each other. Yeah, Beagle, it's it's not easy to score hits, and the AI is very accurate. I've noticed yeah. that. Yeah, it, it wasn't so bad in the old balance where the ships weren't as heavy, but now that your ships are heavier, I've noticed that the AI really, I think, probably hits you a bit too much. So I might kind of correct that for the new mass of the ships so that they still pretty accurate at close range, but like so that it feels like you aren't like just dead as soon as more than one gets on you, or more than two gets on you. That'd be I think nice. You're missing a little bit. You have to like My you can't aim directly at me. like absolute mad. Oh, that's because I'm hitting you. We can wait till after you're done. Yeah, I can't aim while this is happening. Oh, I can help with this too. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help. Just drop. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like you went in for a tea bag. I think you're missing the Galleus. Yeah, you're not hitting me anymore, dude. Oh, come on. Yeah. To... It's a little bit finicky, this targeting thing. Yeah, you gotta be real close. Yeah, it is. I'm actually out of repair juice, so... Oh, okay. I'll just finish up my repair thing then, yeah? Hey, Brett. Joining the kiss. <laughs> and... <laughs> there you go. I think we're fine, thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go dock. See, if you wanted to get repaired, get Galleus, you should have given Super your repair ammo. Uh, I, I could right now. Super yeah, actually got hit. It. He got hit a little bit <laughs> by someone. It's okay. Oh, one sec. I can drop it very quickly. Okay. Super absolutely was like happy to go and log off and has now been forced into service for it's two more minutes. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missing me? Okay, do not move even a little. <laughs> this is one of the finickiest things I've ever done. Holy crap. <laughs> I might give the repair guns a teeny bit more range. I want it to be like a bit finicky so that you can't really do it in combat, but also um, oh, yeah. it, it could probably have a bit more range and still accomplish that. I mean, yeah, but we're out definitely. of combat and it's difficult. Yeah, to yeah, exactly, combat. exactly, yeah. I, I kind of like that it's a bit of a skill to like do the sort of mid-air refueling, but probably not quite this, you know, probably like maybe double the range of them. Yeah. I think that would be about right. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to put that in my notes. Well, I might, um, it depends. Britt, do you want to play a bit, the two of us, or are you off too? I'm going to decide if I'm going to stick around. I'll probably be off too. Okay, then I might uh, head off as well. I'll switch to my hammerhead if you want to do a little PvP. Oh, sure, we can do that. Yeah, I'll do that before I go. That sounds fun. I'm ready to die. <laughs> I mean, you, you uh, I have not PvP people in this mod really either, so anyone's guess who wins that. I have never PvP'd. Well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> We will see. <laughs> oh. Where's your hammerhead docked? Uh. Nope. No, what's that? Oh. I got um, a light fighter plus shield. Ooh. Want that? Yeah, if you're given. Yeah, sure. Okay, let me just switch to my LF real quick. I will definitely take that. I did check what I picked up, actually. Oh. I want to get that warehouse <laughs> plugin fixed, but it's not short-term for us. But um, I definitely want to get that in so you can, like, Tarkov stash your shit like that. 
would be it, great. By the way, if if you want a light fighter alt, I'm happy to like transfer it for you too. No, that's cool. Okay, you can have it. Appreciate that. Where are you? It's right behind you. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is where I sneak in and grab it. <laughs> yeah, I was spamming the tractor, but actually super is smart and doing a trade request. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. You're welcome. Nice. Right, so I'm gonna hop off. Thanks for having me, Beagle. Thanks for playing, Britt. Appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Not a problem. Catch you yeah, all next time. Blast. Yeah, I'm very glad to hear it. Let me switch to my Falcon. Alright, I am off. Good night, See everyone. Ya. GG. Good night. Beeps, I have an idea. Yeah? What about setting up, like, a little asteroid field? But it's only for PvP area. So we don't have people interrupting us. Well, I'll come up here. I'll right, just come up north. Alright. Yeah, just fly upwards so we don't accidentally hit the battleship. Just let me quickly check my keybinds. Everywhere is a PvP zone if you do it like this. We're brave enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, come get on my oh. plane and then we can begin. Alright, let me back up a little ways so we have a little run up. Yep, yep, yep. You can call it. And we're going all the way to death, right? Or yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, sure, let's go to the death. I mean, we're not we're not top tapping out, are we? Well, there's another type of dueling which is like more casual where you only go to shields down, but I figure we're doing actual PvP duel. Well, there's no like penalty for death right now, nah, so we yeah, might as well right. go to death. Alright, ready to let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Going in. What are you in? Are you in the VHF or the HF? I'm in the Hammerhead. I don't remember which one that is. It's the VHF. Okay, cool. You are slow. Er. They're not as slow as a full VHF, because you're a VHF minus. Ow. Which is a problem, because you're not that lacking in agility. I also know how to make a fast turn if I need it. Oh yeah? Ooh, but you are a little bit less turning circle than me. Yeah, how's the turning working out for you? Uh oh. Oh no, I haven't got any momentum, fuck. Ah! 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 <laughs> I picked the worst time to look at you with the e-kill, fuck. Oh no. Ooh. I'm gonna keep going. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> you did no. do fast turns. Okay, GG on that one, GG. Oh. You were around me way quicker. I thought I could like just drift away, um, but I could not drift away. That was not uh, good. What I was doing there is I was actually reversing. Uh, that's a cute, that's cute, that's cute. <laughs> I was like, I, why go at speed? You're gonna beat me that way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's an interesting idea. I was also uh, strafing to try and Stick really close to you. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder how effective it is. It caught me that time, that's for sure. I wonder if I knowing about it, if it'll still be effective. Do you want me to repair? Uh, or do you want me to kill you? So you have to pay. You kill me. Okay. Yeah. One sec. Let me just quickly. Disable my shields for ya. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then we gotta let me restock on ammo. I have noticed this. Uh, you can't replenish your uh, countermeasures plus. Oh shit! Do I not have countermeasure plus ammo on the planets? My bad. Yeah, that's probably no. on the right now. I'll fix that. Yeah, I, I just noticed that with some others and was like, ah, that's a, a little annoying, but at least it's in the system. No, that's on me. Um, I need to manually add that to the other planets, and I forgot. I only added it to the one that sells the dropper. I'll do that in the next version, though that might be a day or two. Yeah. Let me write down <clears> on my notes. That was... That... Countermeasures plus? Yeah, once uh, And in the up. future, whenever you add ballistics, you'll need to remember that. Um... Oh, 
Oh, amazing. Yeah, I have from today, uh, plus ammo, repair gun, doubled range, and lower AI accuracy is my three notes. I don't think there was anything else, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, just DM me or put it in general, Jason. Just ping me either way. Want to go a little higher or are you good at this? Uh, I think we're good here. Ready when you are. Right. Let me get a little bit of distance. There we go. That VHF is really scary to fight. It's very right, ready? intimidating. Yep, yep, good go. I, I I just know that thing has like so many missiles. <laughs> 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 oh, it's so much firepower! Wah! Fuck, you're gonna be right behind me. I just fucked up again. Oh my god! Stop firing missiles! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so scary to like, fight the hammerhead. Did you like that? I fired wasps to get you to drop. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that's smart. Oh, oh. Fuck yeah. Never, never let you see me again. Never. You are never going to see me again. You have to move. Ooh. Fucking hell. Are you behind me? Yeah, fuck. Your turns are really good. Oh, shit. You uh, you have really good quick turns in that thing. You're doing well. I know that thing's slower than me, so you're just like piloting it really well. Oh, did I just blow something off? No. Hmm. Oh, you blew one of my Winchesters off. I did blow something off. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck, how do I fight you? That ship is scary. <laughs> I gotta stop just CMing for your fucking wasps. <laughs> I like how I'm, I love baiting it. It's so fun. <laughs> it's good. It's a good tactic. Oh, fuck. Hello. Oh, I, forgot. I had the wrong mines loaded. Oh, that would have got me pretty good there too. I wasn't even thinking about mines. Ooh, I got you in my sights for a second. Uh, I, I played super bad. I made a few mistakes. Hey, like in, hey, that's in scary. Some of those turn, in some of those turn fights, I accidentally just had the SRM uh, loadout. I, I, I actually would have sniped you so many times on your I shield. could feel it. I felt very scared in some of those... Uh, in some of those areas. Uh, the, the the most frightening feeling, I think, was when my shield was down because you out-firepowered me, you out-muscled me on the, on the joust, and then it felt like you turned on my tail immediately and were about to missile me. It was like five SRMs. felt very scary. That's uh, surprisingly also, uh, fun. I also, uh, I have a huge E-bomb <laughs> loaded. <laughs> Because I was doing like a general purpose build, so it's like, all right, I've got some nanite repairs to heal me. I've got some UG bombs for big targets. I've got an SRM, LRM, you know, a wide selection of tools. Of my Joining the ranks of the radical usage. left, uh, a lot of them in this fight <laughs> are completely useless. <laughs> yeah, you might be creaming me even harder with a with a full on loadout of like missiles and stuff. I think. Yeah, I'm just repairing. Well. I got one kill, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> oh, you might get me again. Like, I, I I could feel that, like, I got to exploit a mistake, uh, a couple of mistakes in you in that fight. But other than that, like, it's very, very intimidating to fight you because, like, yeah, it's so good, Jason. I'm definitely going to grab that. Like, um, yeah, just your firepower and shield advantage is very scary. And I'll, is it because uh, I know how to turn hard enough in this thing? And that, yeah, sorry. It's not just, it's also like you're flying really well. Like the way the way you are pulling those really hot, quick turns is very frightening. By the way, that point where you said like I immediately it was turned on you, yeah. I killed my engine for that. Yeah, yeah. And that's the interesting just... thing about fighting you in a VHF is that like, I don't want, <laughs> to, I don't want to engine kill past you because you'll get a lot of firepower on me, but I probably should be doing it more. I think if you did that, well, you wouldn't be able to maneuver out of the way as easier. Yeah, I want to... Part of that was you, because you were doing a hard enough turn, I couldn't hit you the whole time. Yeah, that's... It's interesting because, like, I mean, I, I've... This is the first real PvP balance testing I've done yet, but I always, theory, tried to balance this for PvP. And it's interesting because, like, once I got behind you like that, I was able to really, with effort, stay behind you and not let you hit me. But when it's the straight joust, you definitely win. And that's kind of how I figured it would go with VHFs versus HFs, but um, it's interesting to see it in practice. Oh, that's sick. I need to set up a little control group for this. Yeah, because you got real weapons now, don't you? 
Uh, don't worry. I still have the UGB to threaten you with. <laughs> Reminds me of um, when I did PvP on, on old freelance mod on Disco. It was um, uh, with with vanilla. You you do like mind jousting, so you like fly in a straight line and then just drop mines on each other. Yeah, Dude, that shit's nasty. I don't know if I'm gonna beat you again. I think you might get me this time. I'm very like intimidated, honestly. I guess the thousands of hours I put into Freelancer on my own time works. <laughs> well, like just this week? Uh, not just that. I didn't do a lot of comp. Well, actually, no. I did a lot more combat than trading this week or this uh, past few days. Yeah, you seem pretty, uh, pretty damn competent. I think everyone uh, does but too. Also, but also, I just have like thousands of hours of game time. Yeah, for for real, I wasn't sure if you were if you were joking. You're you're a big freelancer fan. Uh, I have beaten the entire story, and I'm in the double digits now. Double digits level? No, like times I've completed the whole freelancer campaign. Oh wow! Okay, so you love this game? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm very glad to have you then. Yeah, it makes sense that you know how to fucking turn like that then, yeah. Because that is a trick, I remember. Oh, sorry, I didn't call. Let me go backwards. That is, that is uh, a trick yeah. I remember from back in the day. No, too, the second I like... saw you move, I thought we were starting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were. It was, we like, were, the, it was like the, uh, you know, the Wild West showdown. You stare at each other, and then one of us moves, and we immediately start. <laughs> That's what I figured, but then I felt like, oh, that wasn't very polite. So I, I decided to restart it. All right, let's go. Fuck it. All right. I gotta figure out how to, like, not take all your firepower on the way in. It's call evasion! But then we just joust again and I still don't- AH MAGS! <laughs> <laughs> I got you there! You oh, almost fuck. got me. Whoa, you have so many mines, what the fuck? <laughs> you have so many mines! Okay, but I can, ev like, evade on the way in. Oh my- Why do you have so many mines? What the fuck? Is their cooldown that low? Yeah. Oh shit, I thought they had like 12 second cooldowns. That's terrifying. Oh my god, stop mining! <laughs> not Minecraft! Oh yeah, I forgot Persona, that's a good trick. Thank you, I actually forgot about that. I should be doing that. That is an old PvP trick. Oh fuck, 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 fuck! Please don't quick turn after me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm dead or not. I'm dead. <laughs> I need to stop doing- I just did it again. I need to stop doing this e-kill turn where I drift away in a straight line. Because I think I'm free. Because I'm not free. What the heck? Every so often my mouse gets forcibly put back in the center of my screen. Oh, I, like lose focus and window and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. Ugh. It's my game though. No! Fucking mines! <laughs> it's my way to get you off my tail. <laughs> yeah, you need them. That's where I want to fucking be, for sure. Oh, fuck me. Horrible little minefield. <laughs> what, yeah, you don't if like I can get it? behind you, if I can get behind you. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm just like busy <laughs> dodging your mines. <laughs> One of these days. One of these days, I'm gonna get you. Whoa. I really feel the extra agility on that being a VHF underweight. That's scary. It's so hard to, like, get behind you. Oh, no, no, no. I hope you're not too far behind me. Yeah, good, good. Fuck off. Fuck off with that. Woo! hit by the mines? I did not get hit by the mines. I refuse. Okay, let's do some damage. Oh, what is... What is hitting me? Like, why am me? I keep disconnecting that mouse? Oh, right. <laughs> no, I missed! That was my shot! At least my missile hit. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh, Rich, yeah. I robbed! I had your ass, but you took the auto Oh, I had hit. your ass so many times, don't blah. <laughs> uh, we both had ass. Oh my 
god. Please tell me you can't hit me. Oh, I can. No. Oh, you're doing turret boxing now, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get your ass. You can't, you can't do this against me as long as I don't fuck up. Oh, I fucked up. A little bit. No, 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 I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you! Oh. No. Where the fuck are you? Hey! Oh, Jesus. Uh. This shit's intense. This is very I'm... different to vanilla PvP, and I really, I quite like it personally. This is intense. Dude, it was fun. You uh, at, at, at that end there, I lost all my mines. <laughs> I, I was waiting for you to mine me because my shields are down. I'm like, yeah, surely here it comes, right? I I goofed around a little too much with the uh, mines. Hey, we we had a little bit too much fun there. I I, I thought I just went full in on them. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to increase their cooldown. Like the I could make them okay, like so... a missile, but at the same time, like it felt like I could dodge <laughs> them. Uh. The mines, they have this feature to them, which is, technically I have 50, right? But since I drop five at a time, yeah. my ammo indicator goes down faster. So yeah. I only actually have 10 uses of that. That's right, yeah. But, when I go to buy mines, only 10 were used. What? Yeah. Uh, that's the same thing for my twin LRMs, too. Technically, I only have 13 shots with it, but only half of my ammo is used up. Wait, really? That's fucking weird. I've never noticed that. So, yeah. that's... I don't know how the fuck to deal with that. That's weird as fuck. That's I, a weird bug. Yeah, I didn't know how to... So, was I supposed to, in a twin, uh, go through ammo quicker? Yes, yeah, you, you definitely, you're supposed to, like, it's definitely supposed to be part okay. of it, yeah, same with the mines. I had no idea that's a thing, if it's, like, when you get back to the planet, it's, like, refunding you the ammo, like, you didn't really spend it, that's, sounds like a weird bug. I'll have to, I'll have to look at that, thanks, I had no idea that was a thing. I'll write that down. Alright. Let's bring a little bit more fun. Let's see. Yeah, I'm changing my loadout too. Fuck, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to goddamn Tams and change my loadout. No, this is actually good against you. I should get Starbeam. That's what I should get. <laughs> I'm used to being the heavier fighter, usually against the AI, if anything. And but but in this case, because I'm the lighter one, I want faster fire, higher DPS. <laughs> Oh, uh, I should. I guess I should also mention when I mentioned I love the Corsair. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the ship I have thousands of hours of. That makes sense. My plan for the Corsair. We're nowhere near. It was like, it's the biggest and heaviest ship in yeah. the game. <laughs> yeah, I remember that from Vanilla. So my plan right now would be like it's gonna be tanky as shit. It's the it's the XX. <laughs> yeah. Lord. I'm I would imagine like all of its. Um, oh. All of oh, the something else you, something mm -hmm. else you did to me. You took, uh, weapons you took out was, two of my star beams and a Winchester. So I, I had like oh. barely any lasers left on you. That make that that makes sense why I lived to the end. Makes sense why I was like, why can't I do any damage to this man? <laughs> I think the shredder AC he... like blows shit off. Yeah. But yeah, the the Corsair line, I'll probably make like all of them are overweight for their class, and so they're all like plus versions weight wise, and then they'll probably all be like really tanky. I might even like trade some weapon hard points off them within reason to just give them even more health. I don't know. Probably not. Firepower is pretty important. But they'll definitely be tanky. It might be a case of like they have le a bit less power plant instead, like a bit less energy regen, but like a bit more hull or something. I think there should be like basic. Oh, a floating gun platform. <laughs> <laughs> just like slow as fuck, just fucking super heavy They're fighters. They're slow, but get in their weapons range and you're gonna regret it. Well, you, you know, yeah, you know what's cool about having ships like that too, is they would be great as like, I don't want to say ground attackers, but like static attackers. They'd be really great for assaulting yeah. like blood lows and shit. Uh, that's six. So I want that on you. Alright, I'm waiting for you up here. So I'm just setting up. No, you're good. Yep, 
Yeah, you're a very intimidating package because not just your piloting, but the ship as well. Like, yeah, it's hard for me to get behind you without losing my shield on the initial pass. But then once my shield is down, because you've got so many missiles on that thing, I'm super scared of just getting like one shot. So it's very scary. And it's hard to stay behind me when I put some mines up. Yeah, and you put the step on your piloting skills, and, and you're already a bit more agile because it's a VHF underweight. It's kind of cool, though, because, like, this is something I designed, like, a year ago, that ship, to be like, okay, the Bounty Hunter ships are designed to do this and that, and kind of kind of be, like, a little bit more agile. And it's really cool to see it, like, play out in PvP. Um, really neat. Alright, so first thing I did, I full-screened it, so I'm, my mouse isn't gonna teleport anymore. Yeah, you're probably gonna wipe the floor with me, then, because I, I, a few times I got behind you because I think your mouse got untrapped. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Every time my mouse moved, you got behind me, and I was like... I was, like, swearing under my breath. Going, you'd, be, you'd be so fucking frustrating, yeah. I was... Uh, I was getting... I was molding. <laughs> well, All right. let's see. Ready? Let's go. <sighs> you think I'm gonna fall for that same trick? <laughs> you invented that trick! Ooh, you Ooh. Did I, I, I got rid of my repair mines. Ooh, I'm on you now. Ooh, Fuck. Oh, I flew into your mines. Shit. Fly into my mines. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> Fuck! Ooh. You're hiding, like... Right underneath my health bar, I actually- I can't shoot you, that's so annoying, actually. <laughs> now I'm getting your ass with the agility advantage. Mines is so important for PvP, goddamn. I'm gonna get your goddamn ass! Oh yeah. I think I got another idea. <laughs> I got another one in I me. No, I got an idea. I want to try it. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. I, I, I ain't gonna go anywhere. When you're bored, we can stop. This is fun. I like this. Uh, he he says, gonna... having just one. Like, yeah, this is fun. I like this. <laughs> uh, I was just about to say, like, are you, are you sure? Like, if you, <laughs> as long as you're not bored, we can continue. We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Maybe we will be. Maybe we will be for a little bit more. It's lots of fun for me because, like, um, of of the people who play this, I mean, not many are interested, like, directly in PvP. You're like the first, I think, who who's I'm... come up to me for it. Uh, this is also just more of a learning experience for me. Yeah, same. I, I picked this just because I was like, I don't want to fight Box first. <laughs> oh, Cat Cats is quite good. Yeah, Cats is quite good. Uh, it's funny how you said, like, he you mentioned in chat he was an ace, but he was in a call with me. And I'm hearing him swear every, like, ten seconds about something about the fighting. <laughs> Katz is, like, our super sweaty tryhard boy. He is probably spent the most time with the mod by far. And he only right, just been in, like, I think a year ago. Um, and... But, like, also, like, you know, I, I think, like, some of the stuff I do for balance, he's like, yo, what the fuck is this? But um, overall, we see eye to eye, which is why he's, you know, great to have on the team. He has a lot of cool, cool stuff. Oh, fuck! But Katz is just like one of the best pilots, he's not the best pilot. He's, uh, right now he's super good. Hey. Oh, I see what we're doing. Okay, I'm just gonna fly away then. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Wait, what is that missile on me? Oh, LRMs! Oh, shit. I fire those first. Uh, I fear you have figured out the secret. Yes, I fear you have figured out the secret. Okay, I've gotta work with this. Oh dear, now how do I deal with this? Oh, fuck you, you're doing it again. So yeah, this is like the secret I figured for, um, oh fuck! You're in range, holy shit. There's Winchesters, because Bunter weapons have range, I forgot. Um, but yeah. I, I turned around immediately. Yeah, you're, full you're, you were quick on that one. But yeah, any, any heavier fighter needs to like, e-kill to deal with lighter ones, is I think the, the golden rule. Now, this is hard for me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus, that doesn't work. Oh, you mean right behind me? Fuck. 
kind of punishes my loadout a lot because I have like... Oh, if I had Winchesters, I could fuck this, but I don't. Fuck. This punishes me going for high refire, which is good. What do I do? Do I like e-kill you? Do I just shoot you back? I can just shoot you back? And then pull off? Yeah. Oh, I gotta get that aim in. Yeah, but yeah. I can AC you. Alright. I actually never realized you took out my shields earlier. I, I was just your shield? I was just so... Yeah, oh. you took out my shields earlier. Oh, I thought you meant I blew it up. No, I, yeah, I took your shield out. Yeah, I was beating the shit out of you. I actually... I didn't realize. But I, I, I'm trying to get... I, I'm, I'm liking this strat. Well, that that's the secret, right? Is like... If you can't... If you can't outturn a lighter fighter, then use E-Kill to just nullify that advantage, really. But if you're an E-Kill, you're a sitting target. So it's, it's an interesting trade-off. So Maybe something like... else I wanted to point out to you. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed, like, missiles were coming in like crazy on you. Yes, they were. I have two LR, uh, SRMs, and I linked them to two separate keys. Nice. So I was just trying to bait out every countermeasure you had. <laughs> I'm generally pretty conservative with my countermeasures, but yeah. I mean, I forced you to be conservative. <laughs> or just in general, because, like, with the way the numbers work behind the scene, I have tainted knowledge there where I I, I, I know of this mod and with Freelancer in general if you if you haven't got the missile off you in like three or five generally it's diminishing returns at that point it's not worth it so I generally only pop three or five ago that would explain why uh, Box was very unhappy what was Box complaining about? He could uh, it was uh, he mentioned I think it was like eight times in a row his countermeasures didn't stop the missile. Yeah, that's frustrating. <laughs> and he, oh, <laughs> I felt so bad for him. Yeah, it's one of those things too, because like it's, 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 I think there's like a very swingy RNG to it in Freelancer, because you'll also fight like NPCs who have worse CMs than us, and then you'll just like not be able to get past the CMs like multiple times in a row. It's very like luck based, it feels sometimes. The starter countermeasures definitely suck shit though. Um, they're not super great, but if you get the plus variants, you got 5% each time. <laughs> yeah. And the big thing is also with the plus countermeasure variants, I'm giving them more ammo each time as well, is the idea. Like, double, double. Uh, uh, how stars. fast are you, by the way? I'm going at 310. Okay, so I'm actually only 20 below you then. I'm going 300, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm only, I'm only 10. Yeah, because Five. you're. Because you're that that weight class. All right, let's closer. go. All right, let's do it. I got a bad feeling about this one. Oh, you learned. What did I learn? Oh, not to see him, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can like just barely get your shields down and then pull off, basically. Fuck. But you're not gonna be on me on that one. Yo, look at those missiles. You ain't got the inertia for- OH YOU DO! WHOA! <laughs> I was already gone. I thought you misfired those, but actually... Lucky my CMs worked, they were on me. I gotta say, the Shredder Auto Cannon has carried me a lot in this. Being able to just like, hit you once and do all that burst is helping me a ton to deal with how much better firepower you have over time. Oh. Yeah. I think I need to redo this loadout a little. I, uh... I am in love with the Shredder Auto Cannon for this PvP though, because because your advantage is jousting, the Shredder kind of helps me even the odds there, and because you have the yeah. missiles but you don't have an Auto Cannon, I can kind of push it on you. I fucking love this PvP compared to my memories of uh, vanilla PvP though, because I'm really chuffed with it. Um, vanilla PvP I know could go for ages. Um, and I love how, like, scary this shit is. Like, the fights are over very quickly, whereas in vanilla disco, or, you know, disco fighting, I mean, I would have fights that went over, like, an hour, and it would be like, oh my god, like, no one's hitting anyone. So this is a nice change of pace. Repair complete. We're gonna try a little bit of this. I also didn't use mines. I forgot I had them for. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 
But I'm trying to like mix a, a wasp in there during my missile spread to see if it'll bait more countermeasures out of you. Well, there's the thing, um, there's the thing for Poisson said too, I forgot, which is the old PGP <laughs> trick, is you can use your wasp to detonate mines. I don't know if you can still do that in this, I don't know if I set the mines HP up, but maybe you can still do it in this? Hmm. What, target them and then you it, or...? Yeah, it was like an old trick in Disco I remember everyone did, is you'd set a mine, and then you would target it and hit it with your CD, and the mines had 1 HP in that mod, so you just needed the CD to hit it, and it would set them off like a remote trigger. Oh. That's, uh, there you go. Yeah, more than ever, I need, I need, uh, probably to just go for three Winchesters instead of two and then a star beam. Are you ready? Oh, I also need it. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I mixed it up, so I have, like, one economy weapon. Hold on, I need to reset a control group. Go for it. I bought something. I remember to use my sister yeah. pilots this time, chat. I got pilots, I forget to use them. I gotta go all in, bam, 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 on a pass and just one shot him. Mm. He's got 21, he's got 21k health. I can go 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, plus a shredder yes. hit. He'll be dead in one pass. Yeah, exactly, Pissonia. <laughs> I might have turned up the mines HP, I'm not sure. So maybe the CD trick doesn't work here, I'm not sure. Tell you what, I, I never used mines in all PvP because I was too lazy, but you need them here. They're really they're really helpful when they're on your tail. <clears throat> I need to use them against AI more. When I'm when I'm dying with them on my tail, I should bring normal mines. They're probably better than a repair mine when I've got a group going. And I think I will lower AI accuracy a bit. They're they're just a bit I wanted to not be too quick on it, but it does feel a bit like... And Caps has aired this, and Caps is right, I think, that... You get a few on your tail. You get oh, like is that in user Two interface? or three on your tail, and it's like you're just dead. Like, you just yeah, can't get them off okay. you ever. So I'll probably bring down their accuracy a bit. So that they can't do that as usually. Where is the uh, fire weapon group? Um, Oh, there it is. I found ship it. Ship controls, yeah. That key... Oh, that only shoots it, but it doesn't do what I want, actually. <laughs> you can almost double my shield, but... It shoots it, but it doesn't keep shooting it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's annoying. I know what you mean. You have to, like, hold it, and then it'll only kick in again after, like, half a second, and it's not really optimal. Alright, so... You're, like, trying to bind, like, a, like a unique hotkey for your economy weapon? Yeah. Yeah. Let's... Quit. Yeah, because it will auto it, but it'll take like a half a second to kick in, and it really isn't optimal at all. I don't like it. This shredder, though, man, this shredder is carrying me like crazy. All my whole damage is just this shredder, and and it takes advantage of the I, fact I did set it up that here okay they've got less uh, agility so they can't really dodge it though i'm not really hitting on turns fire that weapon i want to like try different zp setups and fire get it more accurate weapon. i think it's cool like all right how much variety that i feel like you're in this PvP. up some space because like you, you can see the stuff on my loadout that works against their ship and loadout and the stuff that doesn't it's very interesting right, i'm ready when you are <laughs> I can think of like a couple different ways already I could like better optimize for this fight, but then what if you meet someone who has a completely different ship and loadout? It's interesting. I like it. This is interesting. My brain is going. My analysis brain is firing after having right. done this fight a few times. Move some things around. Uh, all right. right. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Uh, yep. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> you can like just, just a little handshake. Hello, SRMs. Holy shit! How are you alive? Uh -oh. I go to the gym. 
I think I fired three SRMs at you once. Did you countermeasure some of them, perhaps? No. Oh, I just missed them then, shit. Ooh, speaking of SRMs. Uh... Uh, Shredder! <laughs> That shredder is uh, punishing the hammerhead's lack of agility. I'm like trying to. I've got so many buttons just to shoot every weapon I have at you. <laughs> you you've like you've totally like overcomplicated your loadout with piano. You're like struggling with your controls now. Ah, uh, don't worry. Give me like two hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're gonna stop doing this, and you're gonna go like test this for like two hours, and then fuck me up tomorrow. Uh. That's the hope. I don't think I used up too much ammunition, right? Yeah. I'm good. That bug is so weird that it's not decrementing your ammo, right? I feel like... I feel like I haven't experienced that. That's so weird. I'm gonna have to test that. <coughs> uh, that requires you to have, like, a twin. Mm. Actually, you can technically go to the station right now if you want. Because you've fucking... used mines. Oh yeah, true, I should check it after the fights. Good point. I haven't been. Yeah, alright. Do do do. Yeah, I agree, Fugo. That's why I'm modding this right, game. Ready? Let's go. Because I think this is still the best base game. That's why we're here modernizing it. A little handshake? Or are those, <laughs> those LRMs? No, that's a handshake. Oh fuck me! <laughs> I've got, I've got away with that against you a few times now, but that time you got my shield down and you got some nasty little missiles in there. Okay, that's not great. I hope my shield comes back online. There we go. <laughs> a little risky. Which means yours should be a few seconds away. There we go. Ow. Oh, oh shit. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh, I think I set your missiles off. I think that's what killed you there. I set your missiles off um, as you oh, launch man. them. Dang. I can't believe it. My greatest weapon used against me. You nearly, um, you nearly took me out on that one pass. Yeah. Well, the box told me about that strat. <laughs> the, the strat of all missiles? No, he told me, you activate your LRMs at point-blank range. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Greg and I was like, I have, because I realized I had enough shields to take it if I shoot it just right. Yeah. And you did, you did. You almost killed me. I think, um, it's very interesting, like, the dynamics at play of these duels is, like, because you can't just dodge forever, it's, like, a lot of pressure. Like, I kind of get scared when you blow my shields down and I want to pull off, but I've kind of learned that's a mistake. I just have to stick to you because if I don't stick to you, I'll lose even more in the long run. Mm -hmm. that up. Let me see now, how many mines? Yeah, I'm only down two mines. Unless I'm tractoring yours. I don't think no, I am. That's weird. Loaded good good call on that bug, that's so weird. Hopefully we can fix that. Into cargo oh. If I not, I'll just have to rebalance ammo costs. I do need to turn the it's super hall. late for me, and I have not even eaten dinner. That's all good. This was a ton of fun, thank you. Alright. Whew. That was fun. Time to head out. GG, man. I'll catch you next time. Yeah. Good bit of it. Alright, well. That was a lot of fun. I have... I have more to work on on the mod now, though, after that. Um, I think the biggest thing is... Like, I have the other notes to fix. I think the biggest thing is definitely making the AI less accurate. I think... Um, back back when I played this a year ago, and I was working on it before I took a big year off, I felt like it was too hard to hit anyone, uh, and it was really frustrating. Got really obnoxious trying to hit the enemy. It was annoying. We fixed that coming back. I, I, I upped the mass of the ships. But I think that now that the ships are a little bit less agile than that, like they're they're easier to hit because they're low, they're higher mass. But now accuracy needs to come down on the AI because the AI are just hitting every shot now, 
And it just makes it so you can't dodge at all. And I don't want you to be able to dodge too many shots, especially not at close range. But, because it's kind of a positioning game, like, if you let an enemy within, like, 300 meters of your tail, you should be getting blasted. But it does feel like you just get AI behind you and you're fucked. Because what are you going to do? If you run, they're going to shoot you. If you try to turn, they're going to shoot you and keep turning and keep shooting you. And because they don't hit, there's no margin for error. Galio says it makes closer range weapons less viable. Yeah, absolutely. So, and it's just unfun. It, it just, um, it's, it's, it's an unfun experience. I can feel it personally. That it's not very fun because it, it's exacerbated by the fact that we have too many spawns right now of the, the duplicate spawn bug. But it is still a thing that, you know, I'll get like two or three guys behind me and it's just like, oh, I'm fucked. Shit, I just gotta like fly around to the boats and even then I probably won't get saved. So it's definitely something that I need to improve. And I'll probably just bring down the AI's accuracy um, and until it feels good. I still want it to be a threat. It becomes more you trying to, them trying to snipe you before they get in weapons range. Yeah. And it's, it's really good that they're a threat because that's the goal. The goal is for the AI to be a threat. Definitely. I don't think 1v3 should be an easy fight, but I think it should be more winnable than it is right now. And, and right now, it, it feels very hellish to try and win that fight. Uh, 1v3, I mean player versus NPCs. 1v3, player versus player, I mean, you're on your fucking own. That's, that's a problem beyond 1v1 for you, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'll probably bring down the accuracy, at least of the veterans and the rookies a bit. Probably I'll bring down the accuracy of the rookies quite a bit. And then I'll bring down, or even just a long range accuracy, and I'll probably bring down the accuracy of the veterans a bit, and we'll see how that feels. I might leave the elites where they are for now, and they can just continue to be very scary. Because um, another thing that, it's, it's a very interesting game to design for, um, because then, another thing is shields. Like, once you get a plus shield with more regen, the plus shields right now only have more capacity, but if you get a plus plus shield with more regen, that helps a surprising amount as well, because just having a bit more wiggle room on your shield regen helps you stay alive way quicker. Because once your shield goes down, you're super vulnerable, of course. Um, so I won't go overboard on it, but I, I, I think I will make it feel a bit better, because it feels a little airy on the side of, like, Sweat Lord not very fun right now, trying to fight 1v3s. Um, and I, I want that to feel a bit better, I think. It, it just feels a bit too unfun and obnoxious when you get dogpiled by NPCs at the moment. I mean, I, I could, of course, just rebalance the mod around, like, you know, less enemies, uh, which is also fine. But, you know, th three is probably something that most players, if they're not newbies to the mod, I think should be able to take uh, and come out on top most of the time. Um, so I'll, I'll try to rebalance that a little bit. Nothing major, but yeah, I, I think three is like a good benchmark for, like, if you know what you're doing in this mod, you should be able to handle 1v3 without exploding most of the time. Galio says, I'll challenge you next week to a fun duel. I look forward to it. Yeah, I look forward to it. Sounds good. And we can do the PvP, maybe, Galius, because, um, like, with everyone else, your idea. Because this this next update, I'm planning to get in more Xenos stuff so that, like, you can sell goods on Uray base, uh, which is their base in the Copperton field. So you can sell goods on their base if you pirate them or smuggle them or whatever for a good profit. Uh, and going to get in a way that you guys can swap to Xenos faction very easily if you just choose to. Um... And then, I mean, I've got a Xenos character, and hopefully I'll get some other people to, to, to fly Xenos. Xenos. Um, and other than that, it's just like PvPing each other, having that thing be like a, a culture thing that people want to do. It's good that we don't have too many people wanting the PvP right away, because it's good to like not have it be obnoxiously like, oh, welcome to B-Mod, and then like someone just fucking ganks you. But it, I think it'll be fun to get like a little bit of like PvP going on, like open in the world. Could be interesting. So we'll see. Probably something I won't push too hard until we've at least fixed the duplicate spawns bug, because until the duplicate spawns bug is fixed, the mod has the risk of being obnoxious. Um, because, you know, nothing is more obnoxious in this game than when you're getting overwhelmed by more than you can handle. And that's why I feel really bad about the duplicate spawns bug, I really want to fix it, but it's proving difficult to diagnose. Um, is because it just sucks when, you know, you could handle three, but the game spawns six, and you're like, well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Um, people have said that they're kind of, like, uh, and I feel it too, like, it feels really bad to, like, get multiple crews disrupted all the time too. So I'm probably gonna be doing some work on trying to make getting crews disrupted and crews disruptors in general feeling better. Um, the other way around too, because I know some people were like, it's, it's, and me as well, it's like, it sucks to try and stop the mules sometimes. I think I figured out what I'm gonna do with that, is I'm gonna bring in a, another cruise disruptor type weapon that cannot be countermeasured in the sense that it's just like a gun. So, I'm gonna call it the Harpoon, I think. So you'll have the Cruise Disruptor missiles, the WAFs right now, which will work as they do, and they can be countermeasured, but they're quite long range. And then, um, 
you'll also be able to buy the harpoon, new harpoon gun, and that'll be, you just fly up close range to them, like, you know, within a thousand meters, let's say, and you go, bam, you just hit them with it. Um, I won't make it impossible to dodge, but just mainly make it fairly reliable. Because I think it's obnoxious when you're flying behind someone, like, you're right there shooting them with blasters, but, like, you can't get them out of cruise because they just flare your, especially with NPCs, they just flare your CDs constantly. Um, so I think it'll be good to have an option that's just like, no, like, fuck you, like, I'm within a thousand meters, you're not leaving. Because at the end of the day, like, you know, it's not great to be able to just go like, okay, bye, see you with crews when someone's like right on you. Like, that probably shouldn't be happening uh, that much, really. Galia says, uh, general consensus I've heard is we don't want to be a bully since there's not a lot in the way for people to even get away by going to another system. Yeah, I agree. Part of me wants to see the PvP, but I, I agree that in general it's good to kind of stay co op right now. Because, yeah, people can't even, like, leave Colorado to get away, so. And also because, like, there's so few players, um, and... Like, the, the player base experience is very low out of, like, the half dozen testers we have. So, like, if one person, like you, for instance, Gallius, started just PvPing and is, like, much better than the rest of them, then it's kind of just toxic for them. Um, so it's not something I think I'll worry about pushing too much now. That said, I think the big exception is the traders. Um, don't let any of the traders, like, Supra make you feel guilty because they are making so much fucking money per minute. Uh, on those superconductor trade runs. They make so much money in a Rhino, they're making squillions of credits. Um, so, definitely, I would not feel bad about blowing up uh, a Rhino full of goods or taxing one. But um, probably like regular rookies, like trading in BMOD, I would definitely not try to PvP. Gally says, I did a test, I can make more money in my hand. Really? Now, that is interesting because I made the trading. Um, quite buffed, because it wasn't very fun before, but I was like, oh, well, just secretly, like, it's secret OP, like, you can make so much money doing this. Um, but you, you can make more, do you farm elites, Gallius, with that? That's cool, I like to hear that, because that's the goal, is for, uh, combat and trading to be balanced against each other economically. In the future, when we have more exploration stuff, everything I want, everything to be viable, like, I want you to be able to go and decide you want to be a miner, you want to be an explorer, like, literally just go out and find shit, and bring it back and sell it, or whatever. You want to be a uh, combat pilot, you want to be a trader, you want to be a boat. I want to make it so that you can choose what you want to do and you can make money doing whatever. Or get good shit doing whatever. So that's the idea. So it's really cool to hear that you were able to like basically outpace a rhino uh, doing trade runs with your hammerhead. That's awesome. Bubba the Goat says, Mining death always felt the worst in base freelance. So yeah, let me show you something before I log off. Let me show you something. Um, I agree. Both economically and also just like doing it is kind of boring. Um... Because base freelancer, for those who don't know, the way it works, you, know, you, you use some dev commands. Oh, that's the wrong field. Whoops. Down here. Silverton. Base freelancer mining is very simple. It's just like you fly into a field that has it and like configured to be allowed, and you just shoot these little things. That's it. And you just shoot enough of these in the right fields where you can get stuff for it and eventually you'll get stuff and you can configure the rate as the devs of course you can be like okay you know percentage wise this many asteroids will give you something am i gonna get unlucky here or there it is now and there's some silver now the thing is this is not something i've intentionally balanced yet in the mod it just so happens that from vanilla you can mine silver in the silverton field go figure i haven't actually set this up personally this isn't like an intended thing to do right now um, but I do think, like, this is kind of not great gameplay. I've done it in Disco for money sometimes. Even if you make this worth doing for money, I just think it's kind of boring. It, it's kind of satisfying to shoot the rocks, but it's not, there's not really anything to it, right? Um, so let me show you instead, like, the very beginnings of what I might like to be doing instead. Um, move. Move. How do I get down there? Here we go. Where is a terminal that I can hack? Is this one good? Oh god, the guards are gonna get me. Fuck. Oh god, the guards. Shit. No. I forgot about the guards. I will not survive. Oh, one of them's fucking off. Good. I don't know if I'll even get the right thing. I can show you when single player cracker actually is what I should have done. Fuck. 
Fuck you! Fucking light fighters, I hate these things. Yeah. Fucking patriots, they're ultra light fighters. Oh shit, fuck! God damn it. Ah! Oh, but I got it, D3. I don't think I'm gonna live to, to get out of here. No. <laughs> Too late, Galleons. Where was it? D3. I want to go check that out. It might randomly be one of the rocks, otherwise I'll, sh I'll show you. D3. So it's on the most right. So let me go there. It was... Let's beam over here. Now keep your eyes peeled. For a thingy. Okay, so in this time it's going to be a storage depot. Now, I'll just show you this for now, but I'll go into single player and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Hang on. Because I want to show you guys, um, the shit. This is a cool little thing, though. So this is something that uh, Milo put in for basically playtesting the, um, trigger system. So this, this point of interest, for example, is, you know, it's a supply depot and some weapons platforms and a navy guard, and you can, like, blow it up and steal shit from it. I'm not gonna do that right now, though. I'm gonna dock. Beam. What's my name? Dev Beaks, Denver. I'm gonna hop out. I'm just gonna quickly put up the server. Hang on one sec. My, my local testing server. So I can set this up the way I want it. So we'll go data. Sorry, you can't see this for a sec. Data config hacking.json. Okay, we're going to put hacking time to 1, just for testing. And we're going to go ahead and make it so the weight of the asteroid ones is higher. Yeah, let's just put that weight to like 100. Okay, let me start this and just show you real quick. It was just meant to take like 60 seconds, but I forgot that like we don't have the... Oh, hacking time must be a multiple of 5, hang on. I figured I don't have the placeholder stuff set up anymore, so it's actually a bit more difficult. Hacking time must be a multiple of five. What is it now? Hacking time is one. Let's set up the five. Set up the server. Load up the game again. Show my local. Do I have a right now? I have testy. Whatever, just bring a uh, Falcon Briggs. Yeah. Oh, wait, fuck. Falcon Briggs, Denver. Hang on. I need to repair. I just need a satellite. That I can hack. Move. Down here. And you'll know it's hackable because it's got a, a blue beam around it, basically. That one isn't right now. Where's another one? There's one. Cooperton near Pueblo. Yeah, that's true. There's another one near Pueblo as well. This is like the simplest thing in the world I'm trying to show you now. It, I'm sorry, like, it was just meant to be like a 30 second thing. I could have just told you what it is and you'd be like, oh yeah, I get it. Look, I'm just gonna tell you at this point because it's fucking taking forever. Look, I just want to give you guys spawns of rocks that you can shoot that are big clusters. <laughs> That's like literally it. Um, take me to fucking Pueblo. Maybe I can get one there. Um, it really was meant to be like 30 seconds, I'm sorry. Um, basically, rather than doing the vanilla... It's been like 10 minutes now. Rather than doing like the vanilla asteroid mining... Will you mind a little asteroid let? Basically, the idea is, um, through different methods, like activating them through these spawns, which I can't get anyway, um, or through finding them randomly through exploration, you just come along and you see, like, okay, like, you know, big rock, you know, mid yield copper deposit, right? Um, and then through seeing that, you flap to it, and then you just shoot it and get your stuff from it. And that's that's the most basic implementation, is they're just like solar objects that are full of like copper or whatever. And rather than mining one rock for like one silver every ten blasts, it's more like... Yeah, exactly, like wreckages, Bobo. 
Exactly, that's a great way to describe him to a freelancer vet. Yeah, just like Rex, kind of. You fly up, you shoot him, and, you know, uh, 600 copper pops out. And you put that in your rhino or whatever, and you go home and you, you, you sell it. Um, I want to get more complicated with that in the future. And it's very pie in the sky, you know, we, we can't do it yet. Um, but the eventual goal for me is to do a whole mining system in the future. And what that would look like would be... Uh, we have to work within the constraints of Freelancer's engine, so we can't do anything we want. But the idea I had was basically like... Okay, if you want to do like basic mining, then you know, just get like a, like a, a mining beam support open, right? And we set it up so that you can't mine the rocks of just any gun. It's more like, okay... You, you need to use this mining tool if you want to mine this rock in like any time, you know, real, realistic time frame, right? So if you want to be a miner, you know, you get the gear and you actually are a miner. Like you go out there and you mine. And then it allows us to balance ships to be mining focused. Like you could buy, you know, for instance, the big mining ships and just go out there and start mining shit with them. Um, and then the idea beyond that would be like, I think we can maybe do some like kooky cool shit with maybe damage zones. Like maybe it's like, you need different kinds of mining tools to damage different parts of the rock, or it's like, okay, you know, here's here's like a copper rock. Okay, to mine that copper rock, I need this mining tool, but I'll use this one if I want to get like this different rock. Um, I, I'd like to make it more in-depth like that, you know? I'd like to give it some kind of gameplay that's more than just like show up and shoot the rock. Um, I'd like to do it for salvaging too, if we could. It's kind of in the future for right now. It's, it's probably something that's like the focus of a, a whole entire like dev cycle for us of like, you know, a month to months of working on this kind of thing. But, basically, long story short, which I should have led with, is I would really like to get gameplay like that interesting and viable as like its own career path in this. Um, because I love the combat in Freelancer, but Freelancer isn't just special just because it's a shooter. It's special because you can do a lot of different things. And trading's really cool. Uh, I want trading to be its whole, you know, own in-depth thing. Um, mining and salvaging as well, exploring. Uh, I think exploring is a big part of Freelancer for me, because I played it in an era before YouTubers were a thing. Uh, and if you wanted to know secrets, you had to spoil yourself by going to game FAQs. These days you play a game and it's like, you know, within two days of the game coming out, it's like, okay, you know, here's the best guns in Freelancer. You know, if Freelancer launched today, you would just be like, okay, here's all the code names. You know, just go to them. Bubba says, I used to follow the patrol map mode to find stuff. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's fucking cool. Um, it makes Freelancer unique, and it's one of the one of the games, the main game that I really think of, we haven't any patrol buffs in at the moment, where exploration was like an interesting bit of gameplay you could do. Cyclone says games for the most- hey Cyclone. Games for the most part hold your hand a lot more, icons a little bit place. Yeah, definitely. The yellow paint, yeah. And to some degree I think that's good to help onboard new players, but once you get beyond the new player experience into a certain point, you know, I want to be let- let go out into the wild on my own a bit more. I want to be able to just fly out to somewhere and find something no one's ever found. And you know multiple people want that because it's a pipe dream that everyone always puts in their game designs, like Star Citizen, like everything. Fucking NFT games, god forbid. Where people are like, you'll find a thing no one's ever found! Okay, probably not. Like, you know, t t in, a, in a full release game, probably fucking not, especially with YouTubers. Um, but we have a bit more option to do cool stuff like that with Freelancer because the game is well built for it. Like, you can, you can make it much less likely and much more difficult that people find stuff, uh, and you can make it that you really reward exploration. For instance, right now in one star system of Colorado, it's a bit harder to do, like, you know, exploration has been a really very big thing. Um, but imagine if we have... You can still do stuff, by the way, don't get me wrong, but a bit harder. Imagine instead if we have, you know, uh, like multiple star systems, right? And then you can make it interesting where right now if you die in Colorado, you respawn from Denver, you fly back to where you died, you're there in like two minutes. Imagine instead if there's like three system jumps over to this edge world and there's no friendly bases to dock out on the way. That's pretty fucking different. That's like potentially 20 minutes of travel when you die. The stakes suddenly get a lot higher for death in that case, you know, even if you're not putting in like a cash penalty for dying, the stakes are suddenly way higher because now you've lost all that time, you really don't want to die. And that also makes it more interesting because then you can't brute force as much. And uh, you can't just be like, spawn die, spawn die, spawn die. And as a result, also doing this kind of thing, you're going to get these these wilderness systems, as I like to think of them. They're going to be less traveled. You know, you're going to have New York, which is going to be super populated and traveled by players a lot, probably. We're going to have a lot of new players stuff, is the idea. Good place to hang out. But I really want to capture that feeling of like wilderness camping. Um, 
not necessarily like actual camping, but like that kind of feeling in games, that kind of feeling of you're out on your own and there's no one to help you. And you've really like ventured out into like a high risk area. Like, okay, you can hang around in the civilized systems as much as you want. There's planets, there's bases, there's navy to help you. And you know, maybe you fly out to fucking Omicron, whatever the fuck, and there's just no one. That's kind of how Freelancer works already in, in a way. But uh, maybe taking it even further, just like no, no dockable bases at all in some systems, and you just fly there, and you're on your own. And that's why I really like the idea of also having the Rhinos uh, and ships like the CSV, these support vessels which can repair you in the field and can rearm you, because I said this earlier in the day, but it's really interesting to me to have that kind of group dynamic uh, and that kind of naturally wanting to cooperate with other people, because it's like, I could go out on my own, but then if I get in trouble, I better know how to fucking handle myself. Whereas if you go out with buddies, okay, you've got potentially repair, rearm, and you've got cover, and you've got people to carry your loot back for you. Um... It's... I'm, I'm very eager to get beyond the single system we have. We do this approach because it's the best way to make sure everything's polished, to do it one system at a time. But I'm very eager to basically get these kind of wilderness systems going. Um, because to me, that's kind of like the Tarkov raid experience. That's the feeling of, you're safe here, you're, you're fucking around, and then, you know, you go on your trip. And this is some serious shit. Like, you're, you're, you're out in the fucking boonies, it's a real, like, road trip experience. Um... And you're out there finding shit that, you know, probably not a lot of people not a lot of people are finding. And we do have options also to make it so you can't just be like, oh, I know where that thing is. Because, like, in vanilla, for example. Um, I mean, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, yeah right, right, sorry, Glenn. Um, it's... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, um, in vanilla, for example, the, the wrecks are always in the same place to get your codenames for, for instance. Whereas we have options, thanks to the incredible tech work of Milo and Laz and Mari and Katz and people like that who are making FL hook plugins, we can do new things, like we can have systems in place where things don't always spawn in the same place, where they move around. So like maybe this time, maybe you found a really good rare wreck with loot, you know, in a cloud, but it won't be there every time. It was just there that time. And you have to actually explore around and find new stuff, rather than just keep running the same old one like you do in vanilla. I'm gonna come into Biggs. Yeah, arguing against the, the road trip or something, uh, thing or something, Galeus. Anyway, you're tired, so I won't force you. Anyway, yeah, that's a bit of waffling, but I should call the stream because I'm excited and passionate to go do some more work on this mod. I have... It's the curse of the dev, is it's fun, it's fun to play, but every time I playtest, I always see new stuff where I'm like, that needs to be better! People need to be having more fun than they're having right now. That's not... This, is, this isn't fun, this is bad, this is obnoxious, this is frustrating. Need to fix that. And then also, we need more content in so that there's more stuff to do and it's not boring and running out of steam too quick. Which is natural right now, we don't have enough content to hold players long term right now, that's, we're at the start, but... I want to get to that point, I want to get to the point where I could proudly say, Hey, this is a mod you could actually play for quite a bit. Um, and then I want to advertise and get more players in, because I'd love to see the server healthy. That's the, that's the thing about Freelancer, is... Um, the, the more... The more players you have in an MP server, the more alive everything is. It compounds on itself, too. That's why I suggested that little game mode for us players to do, says Gallius. Oh, yeah, the, the, the like, PvP attacking each other thing, like the rhinos and stuff, yeah. Meh, 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 meh. Well, that's, that's the fun trade-off of the rhinos, is they are powerful, but they are definitely fucking targets, too. I'm... Uh, I'm definitely gonna put torpedoes in. I, I felt really bad for Super. Super Liminal sounded... You know, I, I guess rightfully, like, very, very frightened. Because a super, a super Liminal really likes flying the Rhinos. I think he's like a Rhino main, like a boat main, rather than a fighter main, which, which are people I have to consider, definitely. Um, but when I was saying, like, yeah, these things gotta be, gotta blow up, I think Super probably, <laughs> rightfully, I guess, takes it like, oh no, like, you're gonna make the Rhino unviable. Um, actually, for me, I'm super scared of the Rhino being OP. Um, that's all, so, um, I like trading too, and I like playing the Rhino, so I'll, I'll never make them suck. But I'm actually scared of them being OP right now, um, because of just how different a gameplay style they are, how tanky they are, and how of AI you really need a numbers game to take them out. So I don't want it to be the case that, like, with a Rhino, you can just go out and face tank, you know, just go and farm, you know, the fields to absolutely zero risk to yourself, because that's, that's lame to me. So it's more just the case of, like, I want to make sure there's, like, enemies within the AI wings. Um, that are like bomber loaded and you see that enemy and that enemy can really fuck you up because I don't want it to just be like okay I'm, I'm too I'm too tanky these guys just can't hurt me that's boring you know hey I can actually hack this I might get what I was trying to show you guys no it, oh, fuck it was hackable and I, I 
chatted too long and it went away. Shit. Okay, that's fine. That means it cycled, right? <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> uh, fuck. Now I, now I want to get it going. Beam. What am I? Stupid Beagle Rush. He likes playing the Shredder also fighting it. Yeah, and you're meant to. I think I might have given the impression. I was fucking around a bit. I think I might have given the impression to Super that I was very serious. That, like, oh, I just don't like rhinos. No, I love them. That's why I made them the way they are. That's why I made them, you know, combat capable rather than just being a traitor. I think that, that shit's rad. I love that shit. I just don't want them to be OP. And right now, in my opinion, they need a bit of counterbalancing to not make them OP. Also, it is a ton of fun to torpedo a big target that can't dodge you. It's so fun. It's so fun to, like, fucking do torpedo runs on freighters and, and capital ships and shit. Oh, it feels so fucking good. But I really like the boat gameplay. It's, it's very different. It's very cerebral. I want to improve it more. I think I've done okay with the rhinos for what's like really available in um let's sell it over here. With the vanilla engine. I would like to do more of them and hopefully in the future we can. I would say the the rhinos are still very whippy. Very kinda like bare as to what I'd like for that kind of gameplay. But they're they're pretty fun, I think. Like they're they're not perfect, but they're not bad. Let's try this satellite. I think the big thing for trader players is just getting those... Opening up the other three liberty systems which we want to do soonish, you know, in our next big version. Um, so maybe in like, three months or so. Maybe would be probably pretty lightning fast, but... You know. Around then-ish, maybe three to six months. I would like, if we don't fuck up our progress, to be opening up the rest of liberty. Um... I think once we open up the three extra systems, trading will be a lot more fun, naturally, because trading isn't really very fun when you're just going back and forth between the same route over and over. It's very boring, very banal. But um, trading when you like go between systems is very fun and interesting. I, I find it very scenic. Random says, this is a great game for its time, and I've been spoiled by Star, Star Sector. Yeah, I love Star Sector too. I, th I think this game, at least with the way we're modding it, is... Definitely no, no, no ancient slouch. I think it's very, can be very fun right now, so I play it. But I also like Star Sector. I mean, shit, you should know I like Star Sector because, like, I took a lot of inspiration for the weapon system from Star Sector and Battletech. Like, with the, uh, weapon hard points. Galia says, to a certain extent, I feel the Rhino should be a little harder to torp, since they are a smaller target than the capital ship, but Super, but Super and I are thinking up ways. Gosh, we can finally go home. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um... Uh, when I'm implementing the torpedoes, I try to make it so that, like, if you launch poorly as a fighter, the Rhino will pull pull out of it. Like, I try to keep the torpedo agility pretty low. Generally, I think, though, if you get a good launch on one, it should work. Laz, what the fuck's up? I was ending my stream, what the fuck's up? Oh. I, I gotta do my shit with you, too. I, now I gotta move directly on to helping you with that shit I said I could help you with today. I didn't forget. Oh, I, 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 I don't like... If you're, if you're busy, I don't know if you're, you're like still in stream mode. I'm I'm currently on stream live, but I'm about to end. I was just like waffling a bit, but I, I'm very free after I end oh. the stream to come and help you do that testing. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, nothing to be sorry about. You just caught me literally as I'm basically ending my stream. I was just trying to get something to trigger that I can't. But yeah, if you give me like 10, uh -huh. 20 minutes, I will be right there with you to um, test that shit you wanted to test. Cool. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to send a message when, you, when you're ready. Yeah, you're good. I'll ping you real soon. Alright. Cheers. Good up, Laz. Galia says, listen, AAA companies don't understand that graphics aren't, are not everything and this game shows it. Absolutely, yeah. I, I think, I honestly think that's why I'm modding this game. I honestly think that this game is still the best space game you can play. Um, in this, in this genre. It's just, uh, you know, it's got old graphics, but I honestly... This is where my nostalgia is hard to separate from my biases, but I like the graphics of Freelancer. I never play this game and feel like, oh, I wish this was HD. I mean, to be fair, that's because this is the HD edition of Freelancer. The, the, the community have made it way prettier. But still, that said, I mean, 
I'm very happy with the the graphics of this game. Like I I'm I have no problem playing on these graphics forever. They're great. I love them. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's got a good style, Bobo. I, I guess I can't really say that objectively because I played it when I was a kid, so there's always gonna be nostalgia. Anyway, I'm never finding these asteroids, so I'm logging off. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I like the style. Anyway, um, I'm, I've just been waffling for the past 30 minutes or so. Point is, um, thanks for playtesting this. Also, I really appreciate talking to you, Gallius, and everyone else who has, like, ideas for the balance and for the mod. Because it's so nice that people care and are interested. I love that. And, um, please, please continue to, to chat and even argue and give feedback and stuff. Because it's so awesome to have people who care about the mod and care about the direction it's going in. That's fucking rad. Love that. Um, more work. I We're soon going to be calling a close on 0 0.1 and moving on to 0 0.2, I hope. And before we're done with 0 0.1, I'm hoping that everything's pretty polished in Colorado and we can just be like, okay, the foundations are done, let's add more content. And then I think we'll be adding the Liberty Systems. So, not too far away, but probably still a little while, but hopefully not too far away. Galia says, I've been qu quiet on the CM for the Rhinos, so I want to let you cook for your idea. Yeah, yeah. Like... One thing I will say is I have a lot of future ideas that I just haven't talked about or done yet, because they're not relevant yet. Like, I think... Um, basically, at its core, what I can promise to everyone, and especially people who are invested, like Super is very invested in the Rhino, one promise I can make to everyone is I'm going to do my damnedest to make everything viable and fun. That's the goal. Um, ships are side grades. You can get plus weapons, which are better versions of that weapon, but weapons that like just are the base types of that weapon against each other are meant to be balanced as side grades based on size and, and category and stuff. Everything's meant to be a side grade, and there isn't meant to be anything like, okay, you have to be a fighter to play this mod. It's meant to be, you want to be a fighter, you want to be a trader, you want to be a gunboat, you want to be a miner, you want to be a explorer, who just fucking scouts and doesn't fight. You want to be a group player, you want to be a solo player, you want to be a fucking big guild, you want to do PvE, PvP. I aim to balance this mod to just naturally work for everything, and for all of those playstyles to be fun. Not everything like that is in yet, of course, we're at the start. Really, it's just the combat I've worked on at this point. Um, the trading is incredibly bare bones right now. Mining doesn't exist yet, really, in a way that I've done. Uh, exploration isn't really much of a thing yet. We are hoping soon, though, of the trigger system to make all of that a lot more interesting. So, um, yeah, like, on the Rhino thing specifically, uh, I think the big thing also is just fixing the bug with the missiles so that you can shoot them down, shoot them down your turrets reliably. That sucks. I, I, that's one reason I don't care about giving them countermeasures as much, is because they can shoot down missiles really easy if that bug wasn't happening. Need to fix that bug. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I think the idea I had for it was just the, the very slow charge-up ability countermeasure for them, I think, for big ships. It's just, like, maybe on the Rhino, once every 30 seconds, you can just pulse, just, you know, have, like, a, a really high chance to just deal with missiles around you. Because I, I never want to give them just, like, fire style countermeasures, which just, like, spam them. That doesn't feel right to me. Um, but, but they, they need something. They, they do need something. I agree with that. Um... Bit of both. Like, I, I do want to be sitting targets, though, like, to an extent. Um, the Rhino is more nimble than bigger ships, but I definitely want the bigger ships to be sitting ducks. I don't want it to be fighters. I don't want it to be evasive or nimble, really, compared to fighters. And I do want it to be, like, a positioning kind of game with them. I do want it to be, like, if you got caught by people who have torpedoes, you're going to get torpedoed, and that's a thing that's going to happen to you. And I think that should happen. I think that makes it fun for the fighters, and, you know... You, it's a thing you got to play around as, like, kind of the boat captain is don't get in a position where you're getting set upon by torpedo bombers if you don't want to get torpedo bombered. I don't want to make it, like, a thing where it's, like, you can reliably dodge and, and just defend against torpedoes all the time. You should be getting hit by those, you know what I mean? Gallia says, if you play World of Warships, you'll be feel right at home with the big ships. That's the idea, yes. Yeah, and the Rhino is the smallest one. And honestly, I've probably, like, overbalanced the Rhino's power a bit because we don't have any other big ships to work with. So the Rhino has to kind of be like... It can... Hello there. Hello, Milo. It kind of has to be like our big ship for now. How's it going? Hi, I, I'm streaming. I'm about to end my stream. Do you want to chat on the stream? Oh, shoot. Wanna... I had no idea. Yeah, no, I'm about to end the stream. And yeah, we, we can want. chat on the stream. Well, well I, I was... Oh, we can chat a bit. That's fine. I got through. Oh, only if you want to. Like, if you actually want to tell the stream anything. I'm, I was about to end my stream, so I'll just end and talk to you in private otherwise. Okay, no, that works too. Whatever okay, works, yeah. man. I, I, I'm going to talk to Laz in okay. 50 minutes too, so give me um, five minutes and I'll be with you guys. Sure, yeah. yeah all, right, all right, see you in a sec. All right, see you in a bit.
Gallia says it kind of has to be with both the target for everything, but also the support for everything. Yeah, yeah, like, in the future... Look, don't let me say shit like this, because it's, it's bad, you shouldn't say it until we're there. But, you know, a pie in the sky, let's call it a fantasy, not an idea. A fantasy for me would be for, you know, let's say this mod has 200 players fucking all the time, and we have, like, scale and room, therefore, in the gameplay for battleships and shit, all the way up to that. Then the Rhino probably, you know... You're probably not as worried about what the Rhino can do, because if you want to play a big ship, you're going to buy a frigate or something, right? You're going to buy or a gunboat if you're a solo player and you don't want to play in a group. You're going to buy something that's really a combat vessel designed for this kind of shit. Um, the Rhino is a bit of an in-between right now. Yeah, it's a bit of a... It's like a, it's like a trader, and it's like a support boat, and it's like a gunboat, and it's like a bit of everything right now, because I wanted to trail that gameplay on something, so I went, fuck it, the Rhino can be a bit of a gunboat. It'll probably always stay like that, but... Because um, I like it. But, um, you know, future bigger ships will be a lot better, I think, at the big ship role than the Rhino is. The other thing is because I don't want anyone to be pigeonholed into, a, like, a boring role. Like, you could have the Rhino not really have much firepower, but have a big cargo hold and survivability, right? And then you could, you know, be like, hey, buddy, bring the Rhino to the fight so we can get, you know, we can use your cargo hold and your repairs. But then they're just a heal bot and a mule because they can't really have fun. So I think it's important when you make, like, support ships. I'm, I'm trying to make the CSV fun as well. I think support roles in this game should also be able to fight. I think you should always be able to have fun fighting if you're a role that's going to be involved in your combat as your thing. Um, no one should just be a heal bot unless they want to be, right? Like, some people enjoy that. That's totally fine. But um, it is definitely, you know, we're going to have different ships for that in the future. But I definitely want everyone to have that fun of being able to go, like, okay, I'm not just, like, the bitch here. The, the heal bitch and the cargo bitch. Like, I'm also, like, the gunboat. You know, even if you're not, like, as good as, like, a dedicated gumbo, maybe. Anyway, I'm really rambling now, so it's time to wrap it up. Um, fun. Hopefully you guys can tell how passionate I am about this mod. I love this mod. I will, I will once again thank everyone for playing it. I, the the playtesters have made us feel so good. Um, just having people play our mod and care about it has made us so happy in the team. So thanks, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for maybe Co-op Tarkov is what I'm thinking. Um, I need to test it tonight. Uh, but we might be doing some co-op co Tarkov first try tomorrow, which could be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, if any of you want to play this mod, click the banner down below to be mod one. Go to our Discord, ask in the lobby to be added to the invited playtesters. We will get you in. Every playtester is a blessing. We appreciate your guys' thoughts and just your time here and your enjoyment. We hope you have fun. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to raid now. Someone else. Gallia says, I also want to make sure for you, Beegs, that I argue because I have high confidence in you and I love what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that. And and if I ever sound like I'm dismissive of feedback, I'm sorry. It's, that's my bad. Uh, if I ever sound like or if I ever am, I don't intend to be. Um, if I have, like, my idea already set in the way and I'm like, no, no, I'm doing that, I'm doing this. Every, everything you guys says is fucking cool to read at the very least. I appreciate it. And you guys have already given good ideas. I mean, I, I rushed the CSV in because I saw Hemo doing trade runs in a Falcon trying to and I was like... Hemo was like, oh, I've got 45 cargo hold, I'm making 700 bucks a run. And I'm like, that is not acceptable. That is not living. Cyclone says not around tomorrow. Okay, maybe I'll do more b mode tomorrow, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, um, shit. Uh, that fucks me for this weekend, and I should have done it with you today, Cyclone. Because I, I wasn't sure if you wouldn't be around for Shabos, yeah. Um, no, I know, I know, I know, yeah. No, it's my fault. I, I figured you probably wouldn't be around for Shabos. I, I should have seen this coming earlier. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take the rare day off XCOM Kitchen this weekend. Maybe I'll do one day of XCOM Kitchen, and maybe I'll do a, a talk of day the day after. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get the CSV in anyway, Galleys, because, like, Kimo was like, oh, I'm making 700 bucks a run. I'm like, no, that's not good enough. Like, you should be making, like, minimum, like, 3,000 a run. Like, that's... Or 6,000 a run. Like, that's fucked up. Like, it's like a two-and-a-half-minute run. You're making 700 bucks. That's terrible. So I had to get the CSV in. Let's raid someone. Wasn't fast enough for me, sadly. Yeah, if you, you guys are fucking, you guys have patience of steel to do any Falcon trade runs. That is not good. Let's raid. Um, fuck. No one I normally raid is on. Shit. Okay, sounds good, Cyclone. Yeah, yeah. Maybe day after tomorrow. Maybe I'll take a day off XCOM Kitchen this weekend, and we can play Tarkov. And that that could be quite fun. That could be fun. Uh, fuck. I guess I'm just gonna raid Harley Plays, who's playing Hellivers 2. I don't know. I have no one else to raid. Anyone got any suggestions? I'm gonna look if anyone else is streaming Freelancer, but I doubt it. No, of course not. 
Jeff says even suggesting taking a day off XCOM is enough to cause riots. <laughs> Woman's. Oh, yeah, good idea, Jeff. Let's go to Woman's. It's been like literally years since I looked at Woman's. Because I followed a bunch of women's from Woman's and then I just raided them. I've actually even gone back to the category in ages. Let's see. ANZ Woman's category. It's been a while. Let's meet someone new. Oh, does, does the team still exist? I don't see it. Twitch.tv. I don't see the Woman's team anymore. Shoot. I just see users called Womans. Did the did the team get uh fucking shuttered? That would be weird. I don't see it. Oh, thank you, Jeff. It still exists for me. I just I just can't find it by searching for it. Very hard to find. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got Stellar Blade. We've got Hunt Showdown. Roblox. And World of Warcraft to choose from. I guess I could send you guys to the Ars game. God, that Ars is really prominent in that game. It really is the Ars game. I choose between Hunt Showdown or Stellar Blade. Ars game or Hunt Showdown game. I'm gonna write Hunt Showdown. You guys can go look at the Ars game on your own time. Okay. So, I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow. Maybe maybe I'll do, like, developing on Beamon. I don't know. I'll be doing something. Might, might, I might do some developing Beamon. Because just for the same reason, it's good to get your guys' feedback as testers. I also appreciate having you guys to bounce off when I'm working on the mod. It's quite fun. So, I might be working on this tomorrow uh, as a dev. And then... Maybe the day after that we do some co-op Tarkov. I'd be a I'd be a bad little boy and I take a day off XCOM. I rarely take days off XCOM Kitchen, so I'm allowed to have like one, you know, one day off XCOM Kitchen. Uh, and then maybe we do some more. Definitely we do some more XCOM Kitchen at least on the last day of the weekend. I right, had a wonderful time, everyone. Uh, I did. Thank you to Euchre for the rate of eight. Gallius, thank you very much for the three month sub and for playing. Tricky Ed, fifty three month sub. Luna wins 7 months. Cromulon 9, uh, 24 months. 2 years in a row subbing. Thank you, Cromulon 9, for the 2 years subbing. Appreciate it. Uh, Tiberius, 37 months. Uh, Muzz Musculus, 47 months. Gunrunner, 41 months. Oh, play the damn credits. Ah! Nikonrad, 75 months. Thank you all for your Twitch subs. I might have to restart the raid if I didn't click this quick enough. I think we'll just get it in. Thanks to the Kofis for supporting us. I'm still going to try. Bounty sent me a way to automate these credits. I haven't done it yet. I will try to get on it this weekend. i got to give Bounty some feedback on that. But thank you to Kofis. For keeping us going, we appreciate it. Um, go say hi to Jack. Jack for me, I guess. we got 10 seconds. I think the credits will just finish in time. Have a wonderful one, everyone. See you tomorrow for more video games. I have to restart the raid. It wasn't going to make it. I will get sued if I don't show you Chris Sanford's name. Okay, just, just click the raid again. I'll send you when there's no any again. Or however many. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Guys, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good one.